Welcome back to uh, Dave's Fantasy Faves, college, football, and NFL playoff. One of these days I'm going to get that right. It's the 12th Warrior playoff this weekend. Uh, we've already had one game in the books. We've got three more to go. At first there were 12 teams, and now we're down to four. So uh, once again, let me, uh, well, let, me, let me backtrack for a minute here. Um, I noticed that my twin got on here and went ahead and gave you guys a mixed drink, which was terrible. So I'm going to um, give you a better mixed drink for the weekend, Thanksgiving weekend and all. Uh, and then I also have uh, something to, um, to amend for next year. Uh, I did say that uh, the Eagles were going to be, uh, the Eagles, Arizona State, and USC were all going to be new inclusions into um, the 12th Warrior Playoff, or not to the playoff, but the 12th Warrior Fantasy yeah. League. So, you know, I love my brother, my twin brother, and I wanted, I wanted to hear him out. He was upset that I chose the Eagles over his uh, beloved Patriots. So as I did the power rankings, this is what I came up with. Um, at the end of the 10 games, you had Michigan number one at seven and three, Florida State number two at seven and three, Washington number three at seven and three, the Chiefs at number four, five and five. Those four teams made the 12th Warrior playoff. At number five, you had the New Orleans Saints at five and five. Number six, the LSU Tigers at five and five. Number seven, tie with Seattle and the Los Angeles Rams at five and five. And that rounded out the top eight. So I've always said that the top eight were safe in my league. You also have four keeper teams, which are the Rams, the Chiefs, the um, Michigan Wolverines, and the Washington Huskies. Those four teams aren't going, or yeah, those four teams aren't going anywhere. So now, if you don't make the top eight in this league, you're vulnerable. And sometimes I might boot out two, sometimes I might boot out three. But in this particular case, let's take a look at these last four teams, three of which did not make uh, the league next season. You have UCLA Bruins. They finished in ninth place at 5-5. Five and five. They didn't make the league. At number 11, you have the Jacksonville Jaguars at 4-6. and six. They didn't make the league next year. And at number 12, uh, the much uh, ballyhooed Missouri Tigers at 2-8. and eight. They didn't make the league. The team that I skipped over was the number 10 Tennessee Titans, which although they did play in the championship game, uh, a meaningless championship game really against the Saints since that champion did not end up in the, uh, the uh, top four, they ended up their season at four and six. So I thought to myself, all those other three teams in the bottom the bottom four didn't make my league. So, Dave, my twin, guess what? The Titans are out of here. And insert your favorite, the Patriots. Now, that is something to drink to, okay? And by the way, the Eagles are still in there too. So the new teams will be the Eagles, the Patriots, Arizona State, and USC. All right. Uh, oh, let me get to that drink recipe real quick before we jump into uh, the first uh, the, the, the um, results for the college football playoff, 12th Warrior playoff, right? All right. So, first of all, the Washington Huskies won their game last night. They kicked uh, Washington State's butt 45-17, uh, to 17, I believe it was. So, Florida State plays tonight. Um, that's the matchup, Washington versus Florida State. Florida State has to win their game and allow less than 16 or less points to uh, Florida. So if Florida State, if, uh, if you allow more than 17 points, you're done. So you might as well turn off the TV at that point and go do something else with your Saturday night. All right, so what we got in this drink, uh, Dave's Mai Tai was pretty bad, so I'm – Introducing uh, um, my Sangria Storm uh, Apple Cup. Little little twist on the actual Apple Cup. You have Mai Tai Mix. I stuck with the base. You got two parts of that. You got a Jack Daniels Winter Jack Tennessee Cider. Uh, one part of that. You got E&J Peach Brandy. One part of that. Uh, you got some cranberry juice. You know what cranberry juice looks like. And then you have Dave's Concoction here. His special blend of grapefruit slices and apples. 
So you go ahead and uh, pour all that in. Try not to make a mess. And there you go. The Sangria Storm Apple Cup. All right. I'm going to enjoy that. Talk to you guys later.